open, would you like to recharge with me? Null is such a good girl! I just want to be like, are you an angel? Just a bit. It's hard to sleep with so much noise. You must be this block's gravekeeper. Gravekeeper? I think 
the workers on the outside call us that. You can call me Hale. As you guessed, I'm the administrator of this sector. If you hand over your key, we can avoid a fight. But I don't expect that to be an option. Mm-hmm. Defeating intruders like you is my mission, after all. It won't hurt a bit, though. I'll freeze you solid in the blink of an eye. Fascinating technology. The Gravekeepers might be using a special frame, but generally workers are all made the same way. But they're all so stubborn, going on about their missions and stuff. They aren't like you at all, no. Oh my. I'm afraid that's because I'm the odd one. <gasps> but you're such a sweetheart, no? There's nothing odd about you. I'm just a faulty product. Faulty product? I don't get it. Whenever a worker is created, whether it's in a lab or a factory, they are given a mission. However, when I was created, an error occurred and I never received one. Faulty products like me are supposed to be disposed of immediately. Stranger and his comrades saved me from that fate. They called me No and took care of me, even though I could never be of any use to them. 
No. Because you don't have a mission? When my parents named me that, they said that since I was no one, I could become anyone. Unlike the other workers, I had limitless possibilities before me. My name was a symbol of their hope for me. But in reality, all I do is worry. What could a faulty product like me ever hope to become? No. Oh my, I'm sorry. I shouldn't blubber on like that. No, no, it's fine. You can talk to me about your worries anytime you want. If you're a faulty product, I guess I'm like the human version of that. You too? Yep. Me and all my friends back home were raised as a group of outcasts. But Copen came and saved us. And now, thanks to my sister keeping us safe, everyone's living happily. That's why I'm going to be there for you every step of the way. Copen and Lola will be too. Isn't that right? Of course. If you want a mission, I can program you for it. Thank you, Copen. But I'm okay for now. I'd like to take a bit more time to search for my mission on my own. Besides, that's what the workers who raised me would have wanted. I see. Guess I was a bit out of line. Not at all. Should I be unable to find it on my own, I'll gladly take you up on your offer. Congratulations on collecting all of the bonus emblems! Cryoflash is an EX weapon that slows the flow of time in the surrounding area. If I'm locked onto an enemy, it can completely stop their movements altogether. A weapon that can manipulate time itself. Hm. This world has some incredible tech. Oh, I'm sure if you looked hard enough in our world, you could find an adept who can do that. Maybe, but I've never heard of one. Haku, oh, you said that your older sister was the leader of your world, correct? Yep, that's right! She's cool, kind, and super strong! I couldn't be more proud of her! I thought of something while going over humanity's data archives. I came to the conclusion that you must be a princess in your world, Kawaku. How wonderful that must be! Huh? Huh? You're right! I was the princess of Sumeragi this whole time! Wait. Sumeragi is not a monarchy or even a family-owned business. Just because your sister has power there doesn't mean you're a princess. I don't know. Being told so surely and bluntly that I'm not a princess is kind of tough to process. Kind of a bummer, too. Mm -hmm.